So this is my project mix. It supports Cubase, Logic, Reaper, Pro Tools. And I only use it in Pro Tools. And today I decided, you know what? I want to configure it with uh, Sony Vegas. I know Sony Vegas has the ability to use a control surface. So I did. Check this out. I'm going to launch Monday's video. All right, it's working. Just is acting really, really weird. The first thing I noticed that we have the ability to use the master and Pro Tools, they disabled this option. But check it out. It also moves uh, Fader 3. I think I know why. It's not really that important right now. The panning works left, right. Fader 1 is all the way down. I'm going to press play. There you go. And I'm bringing Fader 1 up. How to encrypt your session, how to send it out. Bringing it down. And as you can see, it's not moving. None of these are moving. This is supposed to be Fader 1. And then see in Pro Tools, if you move a Fader, you would actually see the software moving the Fader as well. But this is the master, right? That works. That I don't understand. So what I did, I went to options, right? I go to preferences, control and automation, well, external control and automation, and set it to a general controller, Mackie controller, emulated Mackie controller device one, channel one through eight, uh, MIDI inputs, project mix control surface, and the same for the MIDI out, project mix control surface. Hit OK, and then I enable, I don't know if you guys can see that, external control, and there you go. It works, but it's like uh, really buggy. And I've read online that people got the Project Mix I.O. and Sony Vegas to work extremely well. So I don't know, I'm making a video to see if any of you guys out there uh, have a control surface or something working with Sony Vegas. Let me know. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in uh, Monday's video. Later.